Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. It's time to head to the Super Mutant Camp, which is one of the Hunter's forward bases that has been taken over. And there, there's supposed to be some information about the rebirth uh, group of ghouls that have been hunting me. So let's head on over. Encountered mutant hunters. Oh. Hello? I can barely see you, but I don't think you'd want to hurt me, right? Yeah, they're fine. Alright. Nice not talking with you. I don't know what the point of this encounter was. They don't want to talk to me, and they, they also don't want to shoot me. Ah, oh, almost made it. Do you wish to encounter Death Claws? Hmm. I almost do. They're worth a lot of uh, XP. Hmm. All right. I might regret this. Yeah, there's just one adult Death Claw. We can totally do this. Oh right, I get to try out this weapon. What's loaded? <coughs> what's loaded in it? Uh, armor piercing. Oh right, it seems like all 14 millimeter ammo that I've found so far is armor piercing. So that might not be good against these because these don't have armor. They're very fleshy. But you know what? I'm gonna try it out. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Jesus! That was effective. I didn't even think about crossfire. Oh, wow, Carrie, I'm so sorry. Let's just uh, pretend that never happened. Oh boy. In front of you stands an old military building surrounded by a moat filled with green fluorescent liquid. There are super mutants armed with heavy weaponry patrolling the building. Well, at least I actually have the opportunity to talk. They're not firing on sight. It's good. Let's flex that speech skill. Actually, no, hold on. Let's make a daytime so I can actually see. Huh? I want to speak with the one in charge. Eh? Alright, let me try using hand signals, gestures. Mary, no let you enter. Why won't you let me enter? Eh? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get through this. Mary must not marry guarding Mary important a lot. Uh, oh my god, this is a lot. And what if we give Mary a present? Oh, so this is to bribe. So if this is to offer a bribe. Okay, so yeah, just say, let me in, or offer a bribe. Oh, my sweet skill's supposed to be really good, so just let me in, right? Uh, that didn't work. Okay, what about a present? <laughs> Mary would like to take present, but they won't let me in. Well, that's just going in circles. Mm. Oh, I just complimented Mary on being a great guard, and they seem like they're surprised by that. Nobody's saying Mary, great guard. 
They don't know how great of a guard Mary is? Impossible. I mean, just for example, you didn't give me any chance to get past you. You know what? I'll tell it to the others. They should know. Then surely they'll like Mary more. If you could just step aside a little, I'll take care of it. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Alright, we're in. That was easier than I thought. Yeah, there is no way I'm taking these people out. These super mutants. This comes to a gunfight, I am losing. Rocket launcher. Minigun. Something. Laser gun, I think. Hell no. Let's head inside. <coughs> Question is, who's the one in charge? They all look literally exactly the same. Probably you, huh? Vatris have work. What do you want from Vatris? So, uh, what do you do here? Repair and upgrade things. Vatris be good at it. Really? And what specifically? Vatris know big guns very well. Vatris mostly repair that. Could you upgrade weapons for me? Vatris don't have time. Vatris have to fix generator. Much work for Vatris. Could I fix the generator? My repair skill's low, but I do have a repair kit. What generator? Generator at the entrance. Vatris don't know about any other. They destroyed it during an attack. It supply energy for gun turrets. More safety for everybody, including Vatris. What if I fix it for you? Then I'll be able to upgrade my weapons. Okay. Probably not going to be able to repair that, but I'll try. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Either way, they don't look like they're the one in charge. But let me just see if I can fix this. Fairly standard as backup generators before the war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my repair skill is 35%. Um, I don't think I have the repair kit on me. No, that's on carry, I think. There it is. Beyond your skills. Yeah, I figured. Damn. Oh well. Oh, you're definitely the one in charge. You have different armor. Human, what are you doing here? You must speak the truth. Huh. Well, I probably shouldn't say the mutant hunter sent me here. That's incredibly dumb. Mm. Well, this is kind of spilling all the beans, although it's not saying that the hunter sent me. But how would I know? that somewhere in this base, there's a location of the Rebirth base. So this one's obviously dumb. This one's kind of giving a lot of information that's kind of suspicious, but this one also just seems way too plain. Like, oh yeah, I'm just checking around. Okay, I'll give him a little bit. I'll say I'm looking for the location of the Rebirth base. Why do you need to know that? I lost my memory. I have a reason to believe I've got something to do with the rebirth because they're trying to kill me. Hope to find out who I am once I'm there. You lost memory. It would explain a lot. He looks at you for a moment, thinking. Yes, you could be her, but I have to be sure. Uh, what? What are you talking about? For now, you should know that you'll find the information you're looking for here, but I won't reveal any more until you do as told. We have use of you, at the very least. It will prove that you're not a member of the Mutant Hunters. Okay, what do you want me to do? I want to see Sebastian, the leader of Hunters, dead. I want to be personally at his execution, and I want to do it myself. Your task is to bring him here, with minimum escort. 
Hmm. I mean, I hate the mutant hunters, so like, I really wouldn't mind. All right, I'll bring him here. But how should I do that? Tell him that we're not here anymore. We'll hide so he'll believe it when he arrives. Just get him in front of the entrance to the building. Then he'll be trapped. Understood. Now leave. If I see you here again without Sebastian, I'll kill you. Oh, they both have something to say about that. I really would not mind killing the monster hunters. But hold on, let's see what they say. Um, wait. Oh, it's this one. I guess her name is Durness. What's your opinion on my deal with Durness? I don't like it. I appreciate you were able to reach an agreement with a super mutant instead of simply attacking them. But the thing he asks of you, he seeks to kill humans. I understand his reasons, but helping him achieve it isn't correct. Despite all the crimes Sebastian committed, and what a repulsive man he is. The worst thing is, I don't see a way out of this situation. By that, I mean other than the one where we end up dead. Yeah, what'll happen to the hunters after Sebastian's death? Durness is right. Sebastian is the one who's keeping them united. He collected all those mercenaries, killers and raiders, trained them, keeps them disciplined and provides them with an obvious reason to live. Without him, those in command will likely start competing for the dominant position among the hunters. The worst case scenario would be an open conflict that'll endanger everyone in the vicinity. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, let's see what Carrie has to say. So now you want to hear my opinion? Good. I say it's madness. Look, I'm not particularly fond of the Hunters, but they got one thing right. Super mutants are a threat, and they can't be trusted. Oh, I totally agree with that. I don't trust the super mutants at all. I don't trust Durnus either, but I believe it's worth a try. We can always resort to fighting if it doesn't work. Okay, as you think. But I'm warning you, you better watch out. He's able to kill you before you can say bad idea, just on account of you being human. Here's what I'm thinking. Like, my science skill is so freaking good. Can't I just get into the basement myself and just hack everything I need? I know he said, don't come back here, or I'll kill you, but since I'm already here, can I just, like, open this door? Okay, it's good so far. Okay, cool. I'm liking this so far. Are they gonna try to kill me? They're probably gonna try to kill me, huh? Okay, yep. There's not that many of them, but they do have freaking miniguns. I mean, Christ. Alright, let's try this. Let's just see how this goes. Whoa! That wasn't even a crit! Dear God, this weapon's amazing! Do the others hear? Yep, they heard. Oh no! Oh, oh god. That didn't do as much as I thought it would, thank god. I can take these, but I don't know if I can actually escape this place once I go to the ground floor. <laughs> well, one step at a time, huh? Oh, that only did 46 damage. Damn. Okay, let's back up. Let them come through the door. Oh god. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Now I don't have enough AP left. Oh.
Lyster, are you gonna seriously beat super mutants with a hammer? I cannot believe how good this weapon is. It's insane. Oh god, I'm about to get minigunned. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I like that it takes the time to count how much you're in the negative on your health. You're not just dead, you're more than dead. You're super dead. Okay. Yeah, there's no back entrance. I'm gonna have to go through the front here. Four super mutants here alone. More outside. Christ. I'm gonna try really hard at this. It might be possible. If I can funnel them all in so I can kind of take them one at a time, I think it's possible. Aha, I got the drop on you. Damn it. Nice, Gary. Oh no, I did. Fuck. I did a single shot. Well, guess I'll reload again. I, I mean, I guess I'll reload again. Yeah, as amazing as this gun is, I guess I did get a little bit lucky before. here. No, I don't have the move points. Alright, I'll hide in the corner. Nice! Damn, nice! Critically hit for 280 hit points. This gun is insane. I've still got a good amount of ammo left for it, right? Yeah, a decent amount. Definitely can't use it for every tiny little enemy, or you'll run out pretty fast, but I've got enough ammo to handle the rest of the super mutants for sure. Well, actually, let's just keep overriding this one save. This is going to be our go nuclear on the super mutant save. be able to hold like yeah any of this um well Lystra you got a lot of room I think yeah she's got a decent amount of room oh yeah if I'm not using the AK anymore then you can have all my ammo How are you looking on weight now? Uh, almost full. She can hold seven more pounds. What about Carrie? Carrie's probably almost full too. Uh, she can hold a little bit more. Like 34 pounds, I think. How much does it weigh? 31 pounds. 
I think that's about all I'm walking away with. Whoop, wrong one. I hope the value is worth the wait. It probably is. Surprise the power fist alone is 10 pounds. That was the only ones, right? Moan. Somebody or something's moaning. Okay, there's something alive in there. I think it's in a jail cell, though. Oh, they have a ghoul! From the rebirth, perhaps? That's probably who I needed. That has the information? That or the computer, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, let me... Do the good old trick of trying to use it on its own. Pops it to the top of the inventory. There we go. The fact that I keep failing is exciting me, actually. Because my lockpick skill combined with this kit has got to be pretty damn good, which means there's probably something really good in here. Yeah. There we go. Really? That's not really good. That's pretty lame, actually. Completely unbreakable. Oh, glass? What? I don't know what that was a description for. They're not all locked, are they? Good. Oh! Hit for no damage. Good. Nasty radioactive goop. found power armor that's that's gonna make me like damn near invincible I don't know how heavy it is but I need to drop some stuff uh well if that's power armor I'm not gonna need this uh drop this too I can unload the power fist <laughs> unload my gauntlet No, open the locker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. self contained It's 42 pounds. But don't worry though, I believe it increases your strength, because it's like silk. It's like... Well, I mean, it's power armor. <laughs> it's powered. So I think it increases your strength and will give you a lot more carry weight, if I remember right. Self-contained suit of advanced technology armor powered by a microfusion reactor with enough fuel to last a hundred years. Holy shit. And this fits me, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is going to make me so powerful. I can totally take on these super mutants now. Now the only question is, are my companions going to die? So, what does that put my strength to? It gives me three strength from five to eight. Yep, my carry weight goes from 110 to 185. More than making up for the difference in the weight of the armor. 40%, 80%, 60%, 40%, 50%, 12, 18, 12, 10, 20. Not entirely sure what all those numbers mean exactly, but I have damn good prediction. I do believe, at least in the stock games. I don't know if this mod's different, but that is the best armor in Fallout 1 and 2. The absolute best. And normally, at least in my playthroughs, I never got power armor until like the very end. So I'm surprised to find it here, because this doesn't feel like the very end. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, I think I got some new armor for you, Lystra. Pretty sure she'll wear my combat armor.
Oh, she can't carry it, can she? I'll take the weapon back. Tool back. Got lots of extra carry away now. How do I make her wear it again? Eh. Uh, talk about your equipment. Armor. Wear some combat armor. There we go. Good. Good. We can continue. Yeah, so now she's pretty well suited up, but uh, Woofer and Carrie are very, very, uh, what's the word? Fragile? That's not the right word, but whatever. Oh, that's the feet of the super mutant from the other room. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, there's no way I'm letting go of this power armor, which means I'm not going to do this quest the other way. This is the way I'm doing it. The computer appears to be operational, but you can't work with it because all the monitors are broken. There's a holodisc attached to it. Judging by a shining green control light, there's some data, sto uh, some data stored on it. Alright, I'll take it. Which I think I can read... Here? No? It's actually in my oh it's actually in my inventory. I think now I have it. Yeah, there we go. Tunrita, report four Q twenty one sixty nine. Mild rebirth activity in our area, which began in February of this year, still persists. Once again, we came across several units heading towards the north and northwest. The ghouls are after something, but whatever it is, it's not in this area. We have completed the last batch of Dr. Yautzen's tests on our test subjects. I will attach a second holodisc for the results. We do not have any more test subjects right now. Although I have to thank Yautzen for the excellent show I got from the reactions the mutants had to his substance. It is not suited to practical application because it took them too long to die. The scouts have caught a lone rebirth ghoul in the wastes. Due to previous failures in gathering information, I'm going to take care of his... of his interrogation tomorrow, personally. After four hours and 22 minutes of interrogation, the ghoul finally started talking. Gave us a lot of important and serious information. The rebirth has a base in a vault tech research complex, which contains a machine capable of regenerating tissue, and which is thus able to transform even a ghoul into a pure human. Holy crap. I guess that's why they call the rebirth. However, this procedure requires donors from among the genetically pure humans. This is the reason for the rebirth raids on human towns and villages. Ah! It sounds ridiculous, but it is the truth. I made sure that the ghoul would not be able to lie to us. Of course, mutants cannot really become truly pure humans. Not even such advanced pre-war technology can do the impossible. The transformation is only temporary. After some time, depending on the genetic purity of the donors, the organism collapses and the body literally falls apart. But the rebirth is led by a madman called the Savior. He let himself be transformed as the first and is keeping a large part of the rebirth in the belief that the machine works as imagined, and a smaller, more informed part in the belief that the machine is malfunctioning and they must find out how to repair it. And for that, all the ghouls are willing to fight for him. The interrogated ghoul is not able to tell us the numbers of the rebirth ghouls but it confirmed that they keep increasing as evidenced by our observations. For now, they only transform one mutant a year. Thus, pure humans die mainly as a result of heinous experiments meant to help fix the machine. The last transformed mutant, the 13th Reborn, as they themselves call her, the- oh, oh, the- that's me, isn't it? I, th I think that's me. The 13th Reborn, as they themselves call her, discovered part of the truth and managed to escape. That's gotta be me. Holy shit. That means I'm gonna fall apart. Shit. 
That's the reason for the increased activity of the rebirth in the north, as they are looking for her. Her capture would certainly be useful to us. However, she looks like a normal, pure human. She's only recognizable by her vault jumpsuit with a number 13 on it, signifying the order of her transformation, unless she got rid of it. It is also possible that she already died as a consequence of the transformation. However, it is more important to attack the base of the rebirth as soon as possible to stop their atrocities. I managed to gain not only its location, but also information concerning how to get inside without a fight. The security measures are weak. The mutants could not handle anything difficult. It is enough to mask one's appearance, for example, by wearing a robe or a suit of power armor and use the password new life and show their talisman to identify oneself. Oh, well, I have a robe and I'm already wearing a power armor. New life? I have a talisman? And I've got a location. Given the importance of these findings, I'm sending a group with my report to Albuquerque tomorrow instead of the usual date. The main base was informed of our success during the interrogation by radio. Sending the report will have to wait. Our scouts have discovered a group of super mutants heading to our position. We will need every last man, and I also don't want the report to fall into their hands by accident. As soon as we take care of the super mutants, I will head to Albuquerque with the report personally. One of my men, Colin, tried to run away to avoid the battle. I shot him. The super mutants will attack soon. They're not intelligent enough for any tactics besides simply throwing themselves at us. We will handle them easily. Obviously, they didn't. Okay, well, I think we just learned who I am. Goddamn. The ghoul is severely beaten and he's got some open wounds. He must be suffering with immense pain. You know him. You can't remember anything concrete, but you surely know him. Do I really see you? Or is this a dream? My friend, I guess I never really thought I'd ever see you again. I'm happy that we can meet again, and especially that we can talk. What are you talking about? Do you know me? Don't you recognize me? Has it been such a long time, or did the hunters... Have the hunters... Uh, did, <laughs> did the hunters roughed me up that much? <laughs> Sorry, the sentence threw me for a loop, because it's not grammatically correct. It's me, Thomas. Your friend. Uh, I got caught with a huge blow to the head and I lost my memory. I can barely recall my own name. You forgot everything. You don't even know who you are and what's going on. They're trying to kill you. The rebirth is going after you. But you are still alive. I'm happy for that. Yep, they were trying to kill me, but I didn't give them any, ch any chance. If they continue to go after me, I'll eradicate all the ghouls from the rebirth. You have to understand what the rebirth is, or what it should be. The salvation for all ghouls. It's still being joined by a lot of people marked by radiation. Its numbers are still growing. The rebirth promises them what every single one of them wishes for the most, but never dreamed would be possible. I already kind of know this from the log. Yeah, this is just telling me how it works, but I already know that. What do I have to do with all that? Well, I already know. Yeah, you're the 13th Reborn. Mm -hmm. um, I was in a group that knew about the machine from various records and from our own past before the war. We searched for it with a desire to become normal humans again. We were a bunch of scientists and their escort. We eventually found the place with the machine, but we weren't there first. The first was a man that nobody calls other than the savior now. He told us that he performed surgery on himself transplanted vital organs and tissues from the frozen stocks of the research laboratories himself, that he entered the machine and became reborn. He was the first. The fact that he was able to do that all by himself was something so amazing that it was probably the reason he became our leader, instead of us taking revenge on him when he told us that he probably damaged the machine during his treatment, and thus delayed the rebirth for all of us. Wait, so if... If the Savior claimed that they rebirthed themselves before anybody even showed up. How does anybody know that they were ever a ghoul? What if they are just a normal human the whole time? But you are... The machine doesn't work properly. He coughs blood. Only the most knowledgeable know this. 
Mostly the scientists who try to fix the machine. They try everything. They run tests on kidnapped humans. Even I took part in some sick things. The rest of the ghouls of the rebirth believe that they can be cured right now, and we're just waiting to get enough donors to make them reborn all at once. For now, one ghoul a year is being reborn, for all the rest to see that it's possible to still believe and be able to fight for it. That's how the Xavier explained it. What is one sacrifice a year for the rebirth of all in contrast with those who die for the same thing in battle? But my friend, these repaired bodies slowly deteriorate. They can withstand some time, depending on the quality of donors, but eventually the body falls apart and the reborn dies in pain. It's your destiny as well. I'm sorry. There's gotta be something that could be done about it. I'm sorry. I never wished for you to be one. But the reborn are chosen by the Savior himself. Officially, it's a reward for the merit, for, for merit for the rebirth, but who knows what he really bases his choice on. Actually, it may partly be my fault. He could see our friendship was a threat, since you, unlike me, didn't know that the machine doesn't work properly. It was awful for me to see you feel so honored and happy to be reborn, and even worse when it happened. Your enthusiasm grew greater and greater. No wonder you were once again a healthy human being, the fulfillment of what every ghoul of the rebirth wishes for. I couldn't take it and I told you the truth. At first you didn't believe me, but the evidence convinced you. Later I almost felt bad for it because it didn't change a thing about your condition. Yet without knowing what awaits you in the end, you could have at least lived happily. What happened next? You wanted to run away from everything, to live the rest of your days in peace, alone. I tried to talk you out of it, but then the Savior found out that you knew the truth and wanted to imprison you. In that case, you wouldn't be able to run away, so I helped you out. Since then, I've only heard rumors about you from units that were searching for you. The Savior pronounced you a traitor who had to be d disposed of mercilessly. He sent a lot of people after you and even put the annual rebirth on hold. Nobody has stepped into the machine since you. Luckily, they didn't find out that I helped you escape. I only got into trouble for telling you the truth. Their truth. What else? What's going on in the rebirth? Uh-oh. It's something you didn't know, nobody knows. I investigated some more and I found out that... What? The machine never worked any better. It simply can't. The degradation of tissue is inevitable. Nothing can be done about it. We're looking for a defect that doesn't even exist. We're trying to fix a machine that isn't broken. We didn't find any records about the machine, so we assumed that the computer was bugged or damaged. But the complex was shut down without any problems. Without any damage, somebody deleted the files. But I managed to save at least something. I found out that the savior is lying. How so? I don't know why. I have no idea what his deal is, but he couldn't have survived for so long had he transplanted tissues from the laboratory supplies. Maybe some people came along with him with minimum radiation damage. In that case, he could be alive even today. It might be the case. Anyway, he's destined to die of cell structure decay as well. I was trying to prove it to my colleagues, but of course they didn't believe me. Much on the contrary, I lived in fear of being declared a traitor, so I ran away. I was hoping that I'd find somebody who'd be able to stop it. Maybe I was even hoping to find you. Yeah, this makes me think even more that the savior didn't actually, it w was never a ghoul. Is it even possible to stop the rebirth? You have to try. Don't you understand? They will continue to try to fix the machine, to run tests on kidnapped humans, and soldiers of the rebirth will continue to kidnap more until they have enough to provide the rebirth for everybody. And if they use the machine, they sacrifice their lives as well because they won't be able to survive for long. Their dedication is so strong that they can barely be stopped. And they're still growing strong. The numbers of the rebirth are growing, and they're able to acquire more deadly weapons. That's the sign of destruction for all humans, normals and ghouls. What have we done? We have to stop it. 
I can't do anything anymore. You might. What should I do? Kill the savior, perhaps. Well, no, that wouldn't stop them. You have to destroy their hope, to stamp out their dreams, to remove what they're fighting for. You have to destroy the machine of the rebirth and the whole research facility to prevent anybody from trying something like this again. We ghouls are destined to suffer. There's nothing to be done about it. I wonder if my science skill is good enough to just solve all the problems and just fix everybody and fi fix the machine. But if it's not broken, I suppose I can't. But maybe if my science skill is really, really, really good. How can I go against, on my own, against the whole rebirth? I don't know, my friend. I'm sorry. I did what I could, but it's not enough. You achieved a lot. You survived and got so far without even knowing who you are. Maybe you can do even something so impossible. I can only point you to the location of the rebirth base and give you some advice for how to get in without a fight. Alright. Points on the map. Show them the talisman of the rebirth, tell them the password, new life. Yep, I already know this, but thank you. Rope or power armor? Mm hmm. Oh, and the same applies to anybody who's with you. Oh. Oh. Can Woofer come with me? Can Woofer come with me? God, I hope they can come with me. I don't know if I can convince it, anybody to wear a robe, though. Or power armor. I mean, I don't even have an ex- I have one robe, which isn't enough for both of my members, plus I don't have any more power armor, so... I don't know. I'll worry about it when it comes to it. I might have to leave him behind, though. Okay. Uh, how long am I going to live before my body falls apart? Uh, how long ago has it been since you were reborn? It must be more than a year. You don't remember it, and I can't recall. I don't even know how long I'm here for. I'm sorry, friend. Anyway, it's difficult to predict something like that. But you hopefully have some time left. The level of radiation in your donor was very low. Okay, I'm good. Go and do what you must. Even if you won't succeed, someone at least has to try to stop it. You know, I just realized, I can actually use the minigun now, can't I? Well, I don't have it on me. But, uh, yeah, there's a minimum strength requirement, which I now meet with the heavy armor. But, the thing is, my gun skill, my, uh, big gun skill is <laughs> 6%. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to even hit anything. Okay. Now I just gotta get out. With power armor, I should be able to do it, but... Still probably going to be a little bit tough. Unless nobody downstairs will notice. Hey! Nope, they notice. Man, even through my power armor? 27 points of damage? Alright. Here we go. Oh man, there's even turrets outside. Jesus Christ. Okay, one down. Good. So, are you, do you come inside or? What's the deal? There you go. Can you move, please? I don't have enough movement points to get there. Alright, let's heal. Oh yeah, what's this super ultra stim pack? 
Uh, guarantee an immense healing effect thanks to special substances or no negative side effects. So I'm guessing that just heals me to full health. Alright, can I survive two shots here? Flamethrower, that wasn't bad. Oh, they're just flamethrowers. Those... Oh no, Woofer took a lot of damage. No, don't burn my pupper. Alright, I'm gonna go over here, so hopefully if they fire a flamethrower at me, they don't torch anyone else. Ly Lystra, what are you doing? Lystra, you're gonna get yourself killed, Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Why did combat just end? Oh god, no, Woofer died. Uh-uh. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, well, at least this gives me an opportunity to get the first shot. Our problems always end with spilling blood. I mean, not normally, but this is kind of an exceptional situation, don't you think? I mean, they're super immunes, come on. Why aren't they moving? It's odd. in the corner. Nice, Carrie. I mean, uh, Lystra. All right, making good progress. 1,400 experience points for that, nice. I'll take that. Oh, I can actually fit all that. Cool. Another super stim. Oh, there's different types of flamer fuel. Hm. Plasma cannon. I wonder if Lyster would be able to use that. I doubt it. It's got to be a heavy weapon, right? Right? Yeah, it weighs 35 pounds. Jesus. Minimum strength, 8. No way, right? Oh, that's what she was wearing before. Looks super fancy, but I'm sure it's not better than combat armor. Alright, you can dump that crap. Can you carry that? No. She's not actually holding that much. It's probably the armor that's really heavy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, will she use it? <laughs> she will. Good luck. She might need a different type of ammo for it, too. Yeah, she's got small energy cells, but I'm pretty sure it needs this.
Come on, Lystra. Damn it. Hope this doesn't hit Woofer. No, we're good. Nice. Yeah, I really feel pretty much invincible at this point. Hope that doesn't make the rest of the game just feel super easy. Almost wish I didn't find the power armor just yet. How are we looking? Everybody inside? Yeah, so we got everybody inside. Anything I can loot from Vetris's place? just run out of here. There's quite a few out here. I could take them, but I don't want to. Alright, let me heal up. And run! Well, I didn't get far. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Most worried about the rocket launcher. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. Oh, I got resurrected on my spot. On my grave. Might just have to take them out. There's really no other exit, is there? No. One more try. Can I survive it? I did. Oh, oh. Let's use a super one. Oop. Oh god. Well, at least... It looks like they can't, like, back-to-back -back use their rocket launcher. In fact, it seems like they only have one shot of the rocket launcher. So, I think I might actually be okay now. Is that the turret? Oh, no, the rocket launchers came back out on one of them. Oh, man, I'm so close. Come on, we can do that. We can, we can do this. Just don't launch a rocket. Oh, they're reloading. Oh, no. I'm still alive. What about the other one? Okay, theoretically I could live, but I think I should just take them out. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And next time, I'm going to make my escape from the mutant camp.